Hi, my name is John, Amateur Radio Call Sign M7 CPT. Welcome to Amateur Radio on the Air. First of all, let me begin by saying that I'm not affiliated with either of the two radios that I'm going to be covering here, and neither am I affiliated with any one that is selling them. I will place links in the description for the websites I purchased them from. The first radio is the Microbit X. Now it covers 80 meters through to 10 meters, all inclusive, and has sideband and CW. It does not have FM or AM. One thing that may attract some of you to this one is the price. Uh, it works out to be around about £150 uh, plus import tax. However, uh, because it's DHL, uh, the import tax in my case was an extra £40. Well, the description does say it is a kit. However, initially the only salt piece of soldering you will actually need to do is to solder the power plug onto a suitable cable. One word of warning, uh, this radio has been made to be cheap and as a result a lot of the components will need replacing over time and even upgrading as a lot of people do. Uh, if you have no interest in knowing how the inside of your radio works this is not the radio for you. You may also wish to add some stickers on the front of the radio uh, to indicate which socket is which and what dial does what. In addition to the stickers the next easiest thing to upgrade is the display. This is a display I found on the internet and found it slightly more uh, aesthetically pleasing. Uh, however there are a number of upgrades that you may wish to consider beyond this. As this radio does not contain an, a built-in tuner you will also need to purchase one of these. Uh, I recommend one with an SWR display, possibly cross needle like the one above. If you have an antenna that is tunable you may find it easier to do with something like the Nano VNA or a, possibly a dip meter or something along those lines. If you wish to use the digital modes i.e. FT8, FT4, uh, WSJTX will access uh, the radio with cat control via the USB. You can find further instructions on how to set this up in the help groups. The image below is the audio high pass filter uh, from the Easy Digi, uh, which is very easy to replicate. Feel free to pause the video and take a copy. Now I don't know if anyone's actually been keeping a running tally on the price of these. Uh, the Microbit X is £150 plus the import tax of a further £40. The SWR meter that I showed uh, with the tuner is £225. And the Nano VNA is available from approximately £42 at the time of this video. That brings the grand total to £457. So, considering you started off with a cheap radio of £150, you've now spent £457. Is this worth the price to you? Uh, do you want to know how the internal workings of your radio actually work? Uh, if that is important to you, then this is worth the price. However, 
if that is of no importance to you, I would go with my second option. This is the Shego G90. Now, it does not normally come with the thermostat you see on the top or the stand that is attached. Um, and it can go for as much as £500. However, I did find a much cheaper source myself. Sunatel in the UK uh, do a digital modes bundle which has the radio, the stand, a th thermostat display and also the programming cable for the G90 which also doubles as cat control. To use the G90 on digital modes you will either need uh, an audio separator which you can make up from the uh, circuit diagram I displayed earlier of the Easy Digi. Alternatively you can go for the Zygo CE19 digital interface which is a further £25. For some of you the Shegu uh, G90 screen will be too small. Uh, there is a larger screen available at a cost of £390. Uh, however I personally believe this price needs to be drop considerably in order to make it viable. That being said, uh, the Shegu uh, G-Sock screen does come with a number of additional features um, so you may wish to look on YouTube to find some videos for reviews on this particular screen. The G90 also comes with a number of very useful features, one of which is an antenna tuning unit which is automatic and can, can tune an SWR of 15 to 1. Also it has a band scanner in so it can work as a dip meter as well. Some other points worth noting. Uh, this radio is capable of doing 160 meters all the way through to 10 meters inclusive. Uh, I believe there are plans to add 6 meters to it, but I, I can't be certain on this. It has AM, sideband, CW, and also with the latest update, it has a narrow FM built into the basic radio. Uh, there are more updates planned, I don't know what precisely they are, but they will be available through free updates. Both these radios have their merits, uh, their upsides to each. Please be careful when choosing which one you prefer. Choose the radio that's right for you not necessarily the one that's right for somebody else and take your time there are other radios out there do your research find which radio is going to be suited for you and which one has the best price range for you especially if this is your first radio as always i hope you found this video informative and don't forget to click the like subscribe and share on any social media platform that you use and all that leads me to say is catch you on the air